preschool teachers are often the first individuals outside of a child's immediate family to be those guides along the way of what it means to know God, to love God, to be in a relationship with Jesus Christ, and to be able to have that nurture of what it means to follow as a Christian. I think that in many ways, Sunday school teachers are the unsung heroes of the ministry of a congregation. They are the continuity of relationships that students experience from year to year. You know, when I go home to visit my family and we worship together in the home church where I grew up, I will still recognize the faces of the teachers who taught my Sunday school class, who brought me up in confirmation, who were the adult chaperones on the mission trip, who rode with us on the bus. I, when I was in third grade, had a really great Sunday school teacher, and his name was Lou Vick. He was the pastor at my church. There was a woman whose, whose name I'll never forget, Wilma Wigington. She taught um, a class that must have been like third and fourth grade. Uh, Ty Barker. I was in sixth grade. There was Ms. Weaver and Mrs. Ross, <laughs> Mr. Steiner and Mrs. Nolt. Her name was Mrs. Burnside. She was amazing. She just, we were mesmerized when she would teach us and uh, she just had a huge influence on me. When I was older, we would go around and we would sing um, Christmas carols to those who were homebound and she was in hospice at the time. So we got to go to Dr. Burnside's house and uh, the youth got to sing to Mrs. Burnside. It, it was amazing. I had an opportunity to tell her how much she meant to me. I think it is our connection with the youth. I know um, as a parent, my girls love going to Sunday school here. I think uh, children become comfortable with their teacher and they uh, are more open and they'll say things that they, that they wouldn't say at home. I think it's really important to ask questions. Just having a dialogue, it's not important what the answers are, but it's being able to ask the questions. And I think the children in the classes depend on that dialogue. And it starts in the nursery. My idea with kids has always been that they know a lot more than we think they do and they're gonna pull that out when you least expect it as soon as you start explaining something that, oh, they know what you're explaining and they will tell you. You just, with kids, you never know where that connection's going to be. So I think any opportunity for people to interact with each other, to have good role models, to find a place where those kids feel like they have a home um, or just a safe place, someone that they can reach out to. They want a place where they're with their own people and a socializing time where someone who is grounded in the church is there with them and who is saying, you guys matter, I'm spending my time with you, I'm talking to you and engaging with you. It lets children know someone outside of their family cares about how they care about other people and that to serve someone doesn't have to be physical, it can be mental, and we teach them that it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what you do, you're loved by the people who love you. I think connection to people matters. Um, I think connection to God matters. And I think that when you connect with an adult who's teaching you about God, it's a constant reminder, and God wants us um, to have relationships with people, just like we have a relationship with Him. It's a foundation for years to come. I always remember going up during service and just remember hearing the messages and then running upstairs. And I always remember that. May God be with you here. And then they, the congregation says, may God be with you there. And I always remember us being really quiet until someone was like, may God be with you there. Those are probably my favorite memories. I had a couple of different teachers. We had Peru. I remember um, <laughs> memorizing the Lord's Prayer. That was a big one. A lot of the arts and crafts, that was really cool. Um, I'm pretty big into painting, that kind of thing now. And that was cool doing that like every Sunday. I look forward to it. Last summer, we did the mission trip in Charleston. That was so fun. I have so many pictures and memories. I still talk to some of the people I met down there from like different states. I think the first one, we went to Pikeville, Kentucky. With Trinium, I'm never gonna forget that. I remember we used to go to, uh, I think this was back when I was like in middle school. My brother would go to a youth group and he would let me come with him sometimes and we would go to uh, Leanne's house. I don't know why, but that just like, I still remember that. <laughs> 
I can remember teaching the junior high class and we did a Mentos lab outside oh. for the David and Goliath. <laughs> which was a lot of fun. How did that go? It, it worked out well, and it actually worked. The Mentos uh, didn't create this big, huge foam. It was fun. But what an exciting year for all of you. I just wish you the best of luck in the next stages as we continue to go on, and the things that you have changed and the values that you have with your families at home and from your church foundation that you can take those into the next journey. I want to offer a big congratulations for our graduating seniors. Certainly, I think they're gonna be the most resilient ever because of all the things that they've gone through. And I'd say going through together, both at their church, but also with their schoolmates and also with their teachers and their parents. They're like life landmarks. Um, and they're always with you. This will always be with everybody. And it can either depress you or it can give you strength. Now, none of us know the future. So I would hope that they would just always put their faith in God and in their families and in themselves to trust themselves to do the right thing, to always aspire to doing the right thing. Trust me, everyone is just the same amount as proud of you, and you should be just as proud of yourself. You're going to do amazing things. To each of you, the best of luck. Just reach out to your community, enjoy school, but come back and always feel like that they have a home here. Thank you so much. There is, it was great. I, I actually enjoyed going to Sunday school. I loved it. And the arts and crafts, I know it's a small thing, but like for, I do a, lot, a ton of painting now. And that's, I think that was a pretty big influence on me. So even though I wasn't baptized here, I feel like in a way I sort of was. Cause I feel like at like the whole congregation, like they helped kind of raise me. Just thanks so much. What you're doing is definitely hard with all this that's going on. And you're doing a great job. Thank you for always being here and being like a really good church family. I mean, it's gonna be hard to leave next year and not have a good church foundation like this. And they've just been amazing and our church family is awesome.